In this video, we're going to take a look at factoring by grouping, where we end up with binomials that don't quite match. Let's take a look at this problem. 7 plus y minus 3xy minus 21x. As there are four terms, we'll probably factor by grouping, splitting down the middle. On the left side, we look for a GCF, but when there is none, we'll just factor out 1, giving us 7 plus y. Whoops. On the right side, the GCF here, using the sign from the middle, is negative 3x. When we factor out the negative 3x, we're left with y plus 7, being careful of signs as we factor. Our goal is to find matching binomial factors. Do these match? 7 plus y and y plus 7. It seems the addition is in the opposite order. However, you may recall that 5 plus 8 is the same as 8 plus 5. The order of the addition doesn't matter on the final answer. So technically, even though the addition here is backwards, they both represent the same factor of y plus 7, or 7 plus y, we could write it either way, and then our other factor would be 1 minus 3x. We have now factored this problem. Again, if the addition is backwards in our binomial factors, they are still the same, because the order of addition does not matter. However, let's look at this problem. 8xy minus 12y plus 15 minus 10x. If we split these four terms in half after the second term, on the left side, we'll see a GCF of 4y. This leaves us with 2x minus 3. On the right side, we'll see a GCF of positive, matching the sign, 5. This leaves us with 3 minus 2x. Our goal in factoring is to find matching binomial factors. Goal, our goal in factoring by grouping, I should say. We have 2x minus 3 and 3 minus 2x. Are these the same? The order of addition didn't matter, but let's look at subtraction. Is 5 minus 2 the same as 2 minus 5? No. 1 is 3, 1 is negative 3. They're off by a factor of negative 1, which kind of suggests a nice little trick we're going to use to get around this. Let's say, for example, we have b minus a, and we wanted to switch the order they were subtracted. We prefer a minus b. Notice what happens when I factor out a factor of negative 1 from the b minus a. b now becomes negative b, and a becomes positive a. However, notice that since we have addition, the order doesn't matter. We can put the a first and the negative b second. When we factored out a negative 1, notice the order of the subtraction, b minus a, has switched to a minus b. Factoring out a negative 1 accounts for the difference of a negative 1 factor when we change the order of subtraction. We are going to do just that on this problem. Because the order of the subtraction is backwards, we'll switch the order by switching the sign on the factor to a negative. We now have 4y times 2x minus 3, and instead of plus 5, we'll change it to minus 5, and that changes the order of subtraction. Just as b minus a became a minus b, 3 minus 2x becomes now 2x minus 3. Notice now we do have the matching binomial of 2x minus 3, and the other factor can be 4y minus 5. If the subtraction is backwards, change the sign in the middle, and that'll also change the order of the subtraction to allow us to continue factoring by grouping. 